Hey. Yo, what's up, dude? Good hey. watching you fight. Man. Oh, yeah, that hey, bitch man. right there. <laughs> That's up, quick. Yo, hey, you can't even make me go negative, and you suck at this game, bro. I apologize. My team, you made my whole team go negative, but not me. You got work, hey, bitch. Uh, this party's oh, to let's break. look and see how many times I kill you. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 there you go. <laughs> what, wait, what? what He's he, actually coming back. Saying? Was he saying he made, anything? Yeah, he said that, um... Yeah. He made the entire team go negative except for him. Therefore, he owned. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go negative, therefore I rocked you. Wh what? What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than Afterkill, and that little clip right there is something you'll see a lot on Gotham City Imposters lately, and it's kind of discouraging, actually, because it makes me kind of really not like games when people do this, and they take things so seriously, and they get so out of hand with how serious they uh, take the game, and they can't exactly enjoy themselves or have fun, and that's what the topic of this commentary is, and I wasn't even in that game. I was just an innocent bystander of the party and you know they invited the guy because he started sending heat messages and then he comes in speaks his piece and leaves but I just don't understand why people can't have more fun on video games while playing online competitively I mean I do like to get a little competitive I do go try hard every now and then and it's fun but I mean I don't sit there and send heat messages to people if I actually have a really good game where like say that guy he uh, was on a team that went fully negative I've had it happen a lot to me and you go positive against a team that's partied up four or five people and it's actually a you know a little bit of a battle inside you're like you know even though we lost uh, I still maintain a positive kill death ratio it's kind of like a you know a moral victory but I just I don't see why people can't just send you know a message saying hey good game why, why can't you just why can't you do that and the reason I think that people actually can't do that and you know the reason why video games have gotten out of hand is specifically because of the anonymity that online offers you and people can't just sit there and have fun on a video game anymore because they can talk shit without anything happening to them back. Now, what I mean by this is, if you were playing GoldenEye with your friends back on the N64, uh, back in like 1999, you're having a blast with your buddies, playing four players, and you know, you're doing stupid shit like slappers only. If somebody started playing like camping or doing some stupid cheap shit, uh, you could just reach over and slug your buddy in the arm and be like, yo, stop being a pussy, man, and play the game right. And that's exactly what you lose with online is the fact that you're not able to actually you know go out and be like hey man stop fucking around man i'll kick your ass but i mean it's all good fun you're not gonna take the game seriously but if a buddy did do that you know a little sock on the arm playfully having a good time that's what video games were about back in the day now it's people you know using racial slurs and uh you'll see later on in the video i asked the guy in the that came in the party i had nothing to do with it like i said i wasn't even in that game and i said dude why are you so mad and just have some fun and he responds back you're queer and I I mean really is that necessary I'm just you know asking you why I can't have a good time while playing a pretty fun pretty wacky and zany game and leave that shit to like you know more popular games that have a fan base and a community full of douchebags I'm not gonna say like what game it is but I mean if you look at this gameplay right here I'm playing with my buddy Nigma. he's having fun doing a little 360 with the motivator you're gonna catch him right there I'm drinking my soda having a good time he's Michael Jackson moonwalking pass this guy down the hall he's gonna try trample him like a bull. It's all good times, all fun. I was laughing my ass off when I seen him mood walking down that hallway because I knew there was a guy down there and I was like, man, he's just going to back into some danger, whatever. It's going to be a really funny time, really funny clip. And he ended up actually surviving it, taking down with the pistol. We all had a good laugh, good times, and nobody sent no hate messages after that. Everybody was just having a good time in the lobby. And I don't understand why video games just can't get back to that, back to its roots where people would play to have fun and you're about to see a clip right here uh not the guy rage quitting right there but the clip uh that you're gonna see is i get a double freeze kill on here and it's actually funny because one of the people that i did freeze kill knife and a teabag uh it was actually watching one of my videos right before this match and it was funny he sent me a message i'll show it to you guys right here on the screen and there it goes she bled glitter and it's funny as hell you get the teabag the whole team's getting in on it having a good time uh he or she actually said 
sent me a mad message after the match and was like, hey, dude, I seen your videos, good times. You know, we sent a few messages back and forth. And, uh, you know, we were all just having a good time, good laughs, uh, quick, good fumigation match. And that's what it's all about, man. Just, you know, relax, have fun, play some video games, and have some good times. And stop talking shit, man. My name's Jay, Morning After Kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys later.